the news that we are gathering. U.S. has offered 1.1 billion dollar aid to Taiwan. I have defense expert Major Mohammad Ali Shah joining me on the broadcast. Major Shah, we have seen that there have been tussles in Taiwan, wherein Beijing has been doing military drills. Now, U.S. is giving 1.1 billion aid to Taiwan. Comes as a major help to Taiwan. What do you think of this? Well, it was expected that U.S. will stand by Taiwan and it will give Taiwan all the necessary support, logistics, administration, whatever it, they might require. U.S. would do that. And now, 1.1 billion dollars. I mean, giving that to Taiwan, it certainly. China is uh, rattled. They know for a fact that if they even dare to advance that side on ground. They can do exercises. They can uh, flex their muscles. That's no harm in that. In fact, Taiwan has himself said that uh, Russia firing missiles towards our side is not a threat because they will never fire missiles in the mainland like the way they fired five, five missiles in Japan after Nancy Pelosi left Taiwan. So China is just being ridiculous, and China is uh, frustrated. Uh, I'm not saying dragon, a frustrated lizard at the moment. So obviously, because they are so frustrated, they have to really let out their frustration somewhere. For example, yesterday we law we we commissioned INS Vikrant. So in the global time, they came out with some negative new piece over there. So it's basically China's frustration, and US is going to definitely support Taiwan. No one should have any doubts on that. In fact, without sending any aid, US Army also incognito in civil dress while training the Taiwanese army. To which Wang Yi, the Chinese uh, foreign minister, had raised an objection in the international community that why are they training people incognito? So U.S. will stand by Taiwan. There is no doubt. No matter what they say, they might say that we believe in one China policy and anti policy can come to Taiwan and uh, defy China. But China, at the end of the day, will be left barking with nothing to do, with no action to show. Only talking and only psychological warfare, Fiza. All right. Also, Major Shah, tell us that how is it going to help Taiwan in the defense scenario? How is it going to help it fight Beijing? Oh, most certainly. You know, with the kind of aid that is coming in from US, Taiwan is going to strengthen itself, strengthen its equipment. It's going to modernize its weapons, and they are fully prepared. Taiwan is expecting China to attack them any time. But China, I don't think at the moment has the courage. Though there will be a lot of analysts who would say they can attack them any time. But I personally, if you ask me, I don't think China has the courage, or the strength, or the power to attack Taiwan at the moment, at least. On 2nd January 2019, President Xi Jinping had given an open announcement that by 2050 they had given out a full plan of China that they will become the number one global power, superpower in the world, and they will get Taiwan on their side as well. They will include Taiwan as well, but I don't think China, by Nancy Pelosi's visit, when they really spoke big, they really called out that we will do this, we will not let our let our land. And US had put jammers. There was electronic uh, warfare. There was uh, web warfare over there. There was so they didn't. Uh, not, they could not do anything to Nancy Pelosi at all. So when they could not do that, China's bluff was called out immediately. So China, it it has been exposed. I don't think they would be able to. Be in a position. They have to go a very long way. In Hindi, in simple language, you say, "Delhi abhi bahut dur hai, sahab." So it is. China has to go a long way to actually fulfill, to come on ground, to actually to walk the talk. Basically, I would say. All right, Major Shah.